when the bird and the dragon meet each other they magically get combined into one fierce creature that's gonna save the world from all evil and bad so please keep watching and see how it gets created to be able to make this creature, I made this crown myself with roses and branches that I dyed black with spray paint. Then I made myself a nose from cardboard from an egg package, which I can now glue to my face with liquid latex, but that's for later. First, I'm gonna outline a little bit of my face to start off and to see where we get with our linings and everything. This is just temporary, but it helps. These guidelines. Now I'm gonna try my nose. I've put some glue in. Inside I made two holes for my nostrils so that I can breathe in it. It takes a little bit to dry the glue, so it's a little bit funny at the moment. But now taking cotton swabs and liquid latex to clear the edges and to make it all float over into the skin. And do not try this at home if you're not experienced, because you can ruin your eyes with this stuff because it's very strong, has a very strong odor, it's like alcohol, so please, please, please be careful and use something else because it's very close to the eyes. If you like, you can just buy a fake nose or beak that you can put on with a piece of elastic, which is much safer but I want it to be as real as possible. And I had never used it on my face, but I had used it before. I also put some liquid latex all over the beak so that the paint will not be sucked into the cardboard, because everything will get lost there. Now I must say, I was very very surprised that I could easily breathe through this beak nose thing just with the two little holes and now it's wait and wait until it's dry. So in the meantime I will draw on some more guidelines which I will be painting over later but I didn't know that at that point so uh, I did a lot of unnecessary things and then with grey paint I started filling in some of the gaps that I drew on. Now as you might see I start following my guidelines. I'm also painting my ears of course and I put some claws and a dragon in my ear and then I decided to take away some of my guidelines and to do the things just how I felt. It doesn't matter how you do it, it doesn't matter how you make your face paint creations, it's always right, it's always good, because they're all unique and special. Now painting this beak wasn't as easy as I had expected. It's absolutely not smooth. It stays cardboard, it stays bubbly, and with the cotton on it and that with uh, liquid latex, it's a very bubbly surface. But okay, I think I managed pretty good to cover it up. And there I go again, changing the design. And there again, I'm changing it, so I just follow my gut. Now with black paint, I am going to fill in the rest of my face, so that everything is smooth and that I can put on the feather-like strokes. Yeah, you can call it feathers or scales, I don't know, it's something that this bird dragon creature according to me, had on its skin.
there I go again, on the bubbly surface of that nose beak thing. As you'll see, I will do a three to four different types of eyeshadow or eye makeup with this look. I just keep on adding and changing it while we go. And see how stylish it is to paint a beak like that in cardboard, which you gotta support with your other hand or it bends down to your earlobes. Then I start filling in the lower part of my face and I'm leaving my lower lip open because it's gonna get a little bit of color, I don't know what yet. Make more something like or so. I'm dragging down some black to the neck part, which I will have to extend when I put on my clothes. Who are you there? Who? Who's that in that camera? Now with black makeup powder, I'm gonna set all the parts that I have done black with paint, because otherwise it's gonna move everywhere where we don't need it and I'll have to paint over it so it has to be powdered off very well. And of course the grey needs the same treatment, so with grey from my color palette I am also gonna set all those paler parts of my face and my beak. With editing I skipped the little part because it's all taking so long. I am making a triangled and at the lower side a rounded off shape in gold paint and that I am going to use to fill up all the black areas of the face. Now you'll see that this is very very time consuming so I have skipped a lot of parts and I have speeded up some parts so that you can get the idea what I'm doing but you don't have to follow every little spot I'm painting here. Whoa look at me go all of a sudden. First I wanted this all to look like feathers, but thinking more of a dragon, I was gonna go for some scales. So it's not really feathers, it's more a combination of feathery scales on the surface. Now can you see how beautiful that is? Ooh, now the other side, whoa, that went fast! Now of course on this bubbly peak it's not possible to make some kind of scales like that so I am creating lines that make shades and that make that beak a little bit more colorful but not really really painted gold. The black still has to come peeking through as you see and then I go over the eye area and on my top lid a little bit and on the wing but that'll change afterwards too so now I'm doing my chin now as you can see my face is split in two halves one side is light and one side is dark that's just all about the shadow the shading the light in fall on the light side there's the light on the dark side there's gonna be more shading and darker colors and on the light side there's gonna be highlight which is normal in makeup isn't it? 
Now doing the middle parts of my face is no problem, but I do not see a damn thing I'm doing to the sides. When I'm doing the lighter gray part with silver, I do not see at all what I did there. So it turned out pretty good after all, but I really couldn't see. I tried in any possible way, but I just couldn't see. I had to guess what I did. So now I am going to take a real liquid liner and I am gonna line my lower eyelid and my upper eyelid and extend my wing a little bit and make sure that my two eyes have got makeup. After applying liquid eyeliner or gel liner, whatever you use, it's always necessary to use the same color, in this case black, to set it all, because otherwise it's gonna go everywhere where it shouldn't be. And I can use this powder to do my, um, my waterline too, as I hate doing that with a pencil or anything else, so I just do it with powder. Okay, now the disaster is gonna strike. I gotta do the silver part on the gray part. This is where I got into big trouble because I did not see anything once I was halfway my cheek. So it was pure guessing and trying and uh, I really had to guess what I was doing because I didn't see a damn damn thing. As I said before, it was totally pure guesswork. After all, I just took my brush and slabbed it all over my cheek. Then I started outlining with the silver. Afterwards, I will be outlining with different colors, but as you see, flap, 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 flap. Anywhere where I cannot make those scales or shapes, I just line and wipe them out. Then, taking some white paint, I am going to create some highlights to the scales on the light side, where the light falls onto the face, but I did make the mistake to try and blend these out, so that'll be corrected later on in this movie somewhere too. Now, as the beak is a very important part of my birdish dragon look, so I had to paint that white along with the sides of the scale part, because it has to be flowing nicely into each other. Now, the first outlining that I am doing is against the dark part, not leaving a space in between, but really against it. And then I'm taking a pink to make the inside of the beak and the inside of the mouth. I didn't think it was a very big success, but okay. I was trying it out anyway, and then starting to shade the scales with black on the other side went so easy and smoothly. And on that side of the face, I'm lining everything with black instead of white, and I am going to make a line that is leaving a little bit of space between the first black outline and the new one, but I'm making it as thin as possible. And again, trying to make that be pink and nice and pretty and real looking, but yeah. Then I will do attempt number one to get my lower lash falsies placed, which I already did. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get these upper lashes to stick to my eyes. And no feeling is so refreshing than to spray and overload your face with setting spray and then flap your hands to dry. Then using this new tiny little lash curler, I am gonna squeeze my own lashes to the falsies, which makes them stick much, much better than with a normal one or with your fingers. Oh, love it! Now how do I look? Do I look okay? Is this side good? Is that side good? Woo! Now I'm gonna do the other eye. 
But that was a very tough one. Now taking some grey eyeshadow, I am going to start contouring the lighter side of the face so that it's not so dark as I'm gonna do on the other side of the face. As this other side of the face, I'm gonna do with black. And also shading around the side areas of the beak, mouth, inner side thing, and the sides of the darker scales, but deepening out the places which are laying deeper on the face. Huh? And moving along gently all the edges of the right side and the dark side of the face and then I'm going to define all those lines leaving that little open space as if it's white against uh, the scale part, the golden scale part and blending out with a little angled brush every line that I can as smoothly as possible but it has to be beautifully shaded as finally this lash got in place and dry I can set that liner with powder again and of course I keep on shading and blending and blending and shading And of course parts like the beak also have to be shaded the same on the other side. Even though that is the light in fall side, it does have to be shaded. But for the shading on this side of the face, I am using a white powder instead of a black because this is the side where the light falls on. <laughs> Oh, are you there? Wah! What the? Am I beautiful? Am I a bird? Am I a bird? What am I? Am I a dragon? <gasps> am I a bird? Do I look like this bird? And here I am, revealing myself with my crown, with my wig. <gasps> I'm a little bit shy, but here I am. <gasps> to my channel yet please do so and give me some thumbs up leave some comments down below and please I hope to see you next time